Hello and welcome back to our shooter bot AI series. Previously we've been working on the navigation of our bot in around our level. In this episode we're going to start working on their shooting mechanics. Now for shooting to work we need to be able to detect where the player is and aim at them. But for that we need to go to the bot AI controller to set up their perception so they can see the player. Then we go to bot AI and in here we're going to add a perception component. We go to add component search for perception and you'll find AI perception that's selected go to the right hand side and you'll see senses config this is where we set up the different senses that the AI will have the one we're going to put on here for now is going to be sight I'm going to go and add an element there and then drop down choose the one that says sight expanding this open will allow us to configure the sight perception now we've got sight radius the sight lose the loose sight radius and the half vision angle. I'm going to turn the half vision angle here down to 50. So I have 100 degrees of vision in front of the bot. Then I'm going to go to detection by affiliation and turn all three of these on. With that completed, you can hit compile and save that. We're then going to add the event for this target perception. So we're going to right click on the component and go add event and choose on target perception updated. This will trigger whenever anything inside this perception senses config triggers either true or false. So if you see the player or lose sight of the player, this will both trigger in, inst in both instances. So what we need to do here is determine what happens when each of those events happen. Now, what I want to happen is when they see the player is immediately chase after the player and shoot them. I also want them to be able to lose sight of the player and not give up immediately so they have a bit of a time a little cool down and try and chase the player ahead so for that we need to take our look whether or not the actor is actually equal to the player character so i'm going to go to actor here and go equals to and check if it's equal to the player character with that check in place you then want to do a branch after that like so so this will only work if they see the player character. We're going to take the stimulus here and we're going to take this and break this down and see all of its contents. Now part of this is going to be successfully sensed. We'll be using this to determine whether or not we've actually seen something or lost sight of something. And that's quite important because we need to know what we're going to handle next. So I'm going to put this into a branch. So if it's true, it's successfully sensed and we want to store who we've just seen. Now for this, I'm going to make this a bit easier for myself and just drag this actor out here and set that to a variable. And we will do call it sensed actor. And plug that in between there. I'm then going to go to my branch here and look at true. Now on the true branch, we're going to get the blackboard like so and in here we're going to drag this out and set value as object this allows us to send over an object over to our blackboard Now the object reference is useful because when we use move to what it's actually going to do is use an object and if it uses an object in move to it will keep track of that object's location and update its position accordingly that way you get a bit more realistic pathing so I'm going to take this key name here and make a literal key name. And we're going to type in the name of our eventual key and we're going to call this one target actor. And on object value here, we're going to take the sensed actor and plug that in. Once we finish that, the last thing we're going to do is set up the focus. Now the focus allows the controller to update its location and rotation to turn and look at the focus it, it has been given. That way he'll continuously turn and look at where he's meant to be running. So we'll take this and we'll do set focus. And you want this top one here on the AI section, set focus. Plug that in and then your new focus is gonna be sensed actor. Like so. And that's it for the true branch. On the false branch down here, we're going to do a timer. 
So the timer is going to be the cool down timer for when they lose sight of us. So down to force here, you set timer by event. And the event, we're going to come down here and do a custom event and call that one lose target. Now for losing target, we're going to take what we've got up here for the blackboard and copy that and paste it down to lose target. We're then going to get rid of the sensed actor. We want to make the object value here blank so that then it's set to nothing. And with the focus, simply just drag out and just search for the clear focus function. And that will clear any focus setting that it currently has. Now this timer currently is set to zero seconds, which is obviously not good. So we're going to change that and increase that to three seconds. So it has to lose sight for you of you for three seconds before it will lose target. Now, in order to interrupt that, so if, if he sees you in within those three seconds, we need to interrupt that and stop that and reset the clock basically. So to do that, you need to take the return value from your timer and promote it to a variable. And the reason why you need a variable for this is because you need to be able to reference it at another point in time. So here we're going to call this one the lose target timer. And then on the true branch back up here, we're going to take up the end here and just drag out our lose target timer. And then do clear and invalidate timer. And that'll make it so after three seconds he will lose interest in us and continue about his way. But at the moment, we are setting a key that doesn't exist on our behavior tree. So now we need to add our code to our behavior tree. Let's go to there and go to the blackboard. In your blackboard, go to new key and choose object and call this one exactly how you spelt it before, target actor. And on the right hand side in the key type, bend that open, choose the base class to be of actor type. save and go back to behavior tree so on here this currently is its patrolling sequence so i'm going to go and name this one patrolling sequence i'm going to move it to the side a little bit here and i'm going to right click on the patrolling sequence node and add a decorator and choose blackboard the blackboard base condition is a condition that looks at the blackboard and changes whether or not it can allow the branch here to fire. Now the condition we're going to look at is that target actor blackboard. So on the right hand side with it selected, go to blackboard key and choose target actor. And you're looking for whether or not this is not set. So change the key query here to is not set. And you're good to go there. So the last thing we need to do here on the blackboard base condition is change how it aborts us. Now, what this is going to do is whilst it's rolling around in its patrolling sequence, it sees the player, we want it to abort whatever it's doing and then give chase. And likewise, if he's running around chasing after us, we want to abort that and return back to patrolling. So with the blackboard base condition, select it and go up top and change the observer aborts to both. And that'll abort this branch and every lower priority branch beneath it. And speaking of the other branches, we're going to go down from our selector and add a new sequence. In this sequence, we're going to name is the chase sequence. And quite simply, we're going to just drag down a move to. And the move to is going to use the blackboard base key, the target actor. I'm going to change the acceptable radius up top here from five to a thousand. And what that means is once it gets within a thousand units away from me, it will stop chasing me. Save and you can close that. Now let's test this out. If I give chase to him and he's seen me. And now he'll follow me and you can see where he's a thousand units away. And if I go down here. And if I lose, if he loses sight of me. He'll still appear there. So in the next episode, we'll get him to shoot at us. So now he's running around after us. Well, when he gets in within range of us and gets in line of sight of us, we'll get him to shoot his bullets towards us. Join us in the next episode right now over on patreon.com forward slash Ryan Lady. We can watch all of my videos from just $1 a month, all, uh, all before anyone else.
If you want to get access to these starter files, you can find the link over on Patreon as well for gold members, and you can find all my project files there for gold members as well. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you all next time. Bye everyone.